Hi, Hiram here. I have an opportunity here to do a little test that I've wanted to do for a long time. And uh, it just kind of came up here. Back when I was in Boy Scouts, my first Scoutmaster drilled it into us that uh, pots had to be clean and shiny. We had to clean them up, scrub them all the time, and make them nice and shiny. No uh, black soot and stuff on the pots. And ever since then, I've wondered, does it really make a big difference to have a shiny pot? Or in the case of the other day, I did a wood burning test on this with another GSI pot, or cup rather. And I think you can see a little bit of difference in the uh, cups now. They were the identical cups, GSIs, but this one was on a wood fire, and it's coated with a hard, can you see that? A hard soot coat, really on there hard. So I'm going to test this out. It's going to be in two parts. First part with the shiny pot, second part with the blackened pot. Another part I want to do here is people have been questioning why I use this with the Trangia and other burners. It's a wood burning stove, it's a hobo type, type stove. In my mind, for a hobo stove, this is really a nice stove. I mean, it's versatile. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. But not only is it for wood, I think you should always be prepared. You know, you can use it for car camping, boat camping, stick it in your polk, all kinds of stuff. But you may not always be able to burn wood. So having something else to burn in here is really handy. In the case of these, these are fondue burners. I pick them up at Goodwill all the time. Anytime that I see them, I'll pick them up. Lately, you don't see too many of them because too many people are going to Goodwill, frankly, anymore. But you can find these. I've seen them for, they used to be 47 cents, but now they're up to a dollar. Anyway, I pick these up anytime I see them. Back in <clears throat> October 29th, we had kind of a freak snowstorm here that... Lots of snow, wet, heavy snow fell on the trees while there were still leaves. So we had broken branches and everything around here. Lots of power outages. So I ended up lending these out to friends of mine that didn't have anything with the power out. This is one of the stoves that I got back. This is just a fondue stove with a nice pot. I think I've showed this to you before in a previous test. But yeah, here we go. See, they used to be 47 cents. Anyway, I lent a bunch of my pots out to friends so that they had something to heat up food or water with at home. So that's what I'm going to use today. If you put, I put the extra rods that I had on the first holes on the side, and it gives a nice place that I can put it on there. These fondue pots have adjustments on them, so you can adjust the flames. Let me get this started so that it'll warm up some. Unfortunately, they don't always start up real good in cold weather because they use vapor, the alcohol vapor. These are just alcohol stoves. I don't know, maybe that's, no, that's not going to catch, is it? Sometimes what you have to do is hold them over a candle to warm them up. Now you have to be careful. I mean, an idiot could hurt themselves doing this. So you take it upon yourself if you want to try this. But all I ever do is just hold it over a candle for a little bit to warm it up so that it gives off some vapors. Once the uh, fondue burner is going, it'll keep itself warm. But it's just that initial heating it up sometimes gets to be a little much. Worked great in the summer or the spring, but in the winter sometimes these are hard to go to get going. But once you do have them going, they go. I'm just kind of rambling here now. Like I said, sometimes they're a little hard to get started. 
So anyway, we had this snowstorm. I did a video on it. I'll put a link to it down in the uh, text area. This is a little bit harder to start than I thought it would be. It's down to about 42 degrees here in the garage. Let me cut the video here and I'll be right back as soon as this starts. Okay, I think you see the flame on here, hopefully. It's a nice flame. It's about this high. Youch. It's about that high. So what I have here is two cups of water setting at 49 degrees. I'm going to put it on the stove, the, the uh, folding firebox stove with the fondue burner. And let's see where this goes. Okay, there we have 210, 211, and we have 212 at 1146, and okay, the thing is I never said, well, the handles are cool, I can pick it up with this. But I never did say that this fondue uh, burner was fast. Let me just, okay, now in the other cup, the blackened cup, the one that I used in the test the other day, I don't know, that hot thermometer might change the temperature a little bit. The other one was uh, 49 degrees 50 as soon as I put it on the flame. So it looks like that's what this is. I have two cups of water in this setting at 50 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Oops, hang on. That's going to be a little off. But let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, oops, somehow the temperature got knocked down, well let's say 1150, that was screwed up. Not enough difference between the two anyway, even with the screwed up timer. So, I don't know if it doesn't, the shiny pot or the blackened pot, shiny pot came to two cups of water boiled in 11 minutes and 46 seconds. The blackened pot that was blackened from the uh, wood fire the other day in the folding fire box got to a boil in 11 minutes and 50 seconds. Oh, give it up. So it really doesn't tell me anything there. Hmm. Now this isn't wasn't a speed test as far as how fast this uh, safety burner or fondue burner could burn. It's not quite at the optimal height. I should have moved it down one but I wanted to have it so that the the handle on this thing was available. I do have one that I used before where I've cut the handle off and this would fit in here down at a lower level but I just wanted to just try it with this handle. Now when you get these try to get the ones that have the snuff caps with them. That way you just put it in there like that and it snuffs out the the burner. I don't know maybe I'll have to try this with another another burner, maybe the Transier or something, and see what happens. But it kind of looks to me like it doesn't really matter that much cleaned or blackened. Maybe my Scoutmaster just had a thing for shiny pots. Although it was good training. So, I thank you for watching this. 
I don't know, this is kind of a failure test, but I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.